This universe truly fascinates us. So does each seen and unseen atom of the cosmos. The entanglement of us with distant stellar stuff, the same stuff which drives a human mind crazy is what governs the major voids of space. This is Interstellar Voyage, Episode 2, Exoplanets. Our planet Earth revolves around the Sun while maintaining the interplanetary relationship with its giant family, the solar system. Every planet and its moon, any asteroid and comet that orbit our sun comes in this family. But have you ever wondered about existence of other families out there like a neighborhood planetary family? Well, yes, there are billions of other solar systems in our universe, some of which may even harbor Earth-like habitable planets or rather I should say exoplanets. Exoplanets are basically worlds that orbit distant stars in our universe. Astronomers have already confirmed more than 4000 exoplanets orbiting these stars. The first one found in the year 1992. It was orbiting a pulsar. A pulsar is nothing but a neutron star emitting radio waves like a lighthouse emits light. The first exoplanet which was found orbiting a sun-like star was as massive as Jupiter and it was discovered in the year 1995. For this discovery, astronomer Didier Keolis received Nobel Prize for Physics in 2019. But how exactly were these planets found back in 1990s? For this, astronomers used a classical method of planet hunting known as radial velocity method or sometimes called as Doppler spectroscopy. This way, astronomers could only detect large exoplanets as it was based on the changing positions of the star because of its gravitational tug with the large exoplanet and observing blue and red shift of the star with respect to the subject planet. The modern method of finding exoplanets is transit method or sometimes called as transit photometry. NASA's famous planet hunting spacecraft Kepler, which is now dead, use this method to explore distant exoplanets. In transit method, when a planet crosses the face of its star, which dims its initial light and even if the light has been dimmed down to 1%, modern telescopes can still detect these exoplanets. Apart from these methods, some direct imaging techniques exist too. Ironically, when astronomers found an exoplanet, which they named as Formal Hot B by using direct imaging method, it was later revealed that it wasn't even a planet, but just a cloud of dust. Exoplanets have been classified into five main types, hot Jupiters. These were among the first ones to get discovered because of their huge size and their close proximity to the star by which their star shows a wobbling movement. Super Earths Super Earths have more mass than the Earth but resemble Earth on many aspects. They mainly compose of rocks and they orbit in the Goldilocks zone, which is the potent zone for existence of water or even life, mini Neptunes. These are the gaseous planets just like Neptune and have mass of around 10 Earths. Ocean worlds. Ocean worlds contain water on surface and underground in large quantities. Ice giants. Ice giants are mainly composed of volatile compounds like water, methane and ammonia. The interesting thing about ocean world and ice giants is that both were depicted in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. But both worlds in the movie were orbiting around a black hole and not a star. In the year 2019, an Earth-like planet orbiting 12.5 light years away from us around a red dwarf, namely Tea Garden Star, shared 95% resemblance to Earth on the Earth Similarity Index. A recent article by astronomer Paul Scott of Earth Sky wrote about an exoplanet, namely Kepler 1649, around 3000 light years away from Earth, might be potentially habitable Earth sized world. Talking about the discovery of any direct evidence of extraterrestrial life on these exoplanets, which is negative yet possible as there are some evidences from astronauts about the panspermia hypothesis, which actually tells us about the uniformly distributed life forms around the universe. 
which travel in space and support that life is evolving on some other planets as well. Maybe there are some intelligent species like us out there in space. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. For finding more life harboring exoplanets, NASA's current planet hunting spacecraft, TESS, which stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite and European Space Agency's Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite or KEOPS are stationed in their respective orbits to carry out this mission. This is Tachyon Webzine, signing off.